In this video, we are going to talk about the latest WordPress theme that is 2022. So we will talk about what's new in this theme and how it is different from rest of the other themes. So if that sounds interesting, then let's dive in. Hi, my name is Ankit and welcome to Magazine 3 YouTube channel where we talk about everything related to WordPress. And if you want to learn more about that, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. So with the latest version of WordPress 5.9, we got a new theme that is 2022. So let's dive in in our WordPress backend and see what's new in this and how it is different from the old WordPress themes. So here we are in our WordPress backend and right now we are using version 5.9. And if we go in the appearance, we have the default 2020 theme. It's not loaded with the 2022 theme. So we need to install that separately. So let's go ahead and click on add new. And here is the 2022 theme. Let's go ahead and click on install and then click on activate. So now our default active theme is 2022. And one of the first thing that you'd notice after installing this theme is under the appearance section. So let me open a different WordPress setup with old 2020 theme. So here in this setup, we have 2020 theme and under appearance, you see theme, customize widgets, menu, background, and all the other stuff that we normally see. But when we have 2022 theme, the first difference you will notice is that under appearance section, you only got two options, themes and editor. So this 2020 theme is based on full site editing, which means that you can now do everything that you expect from a third party page builder. So whatever you are doing with third party page builders like Elementor or Divi or anything else, you can now do that by just using the native WordPress settings using Gutenberg page builder. For example, we use Elementor to create headers, footers and various other page templates. Now with WordPress 5.9 and 2022 theme, which is based on full site editing, you can now create your header, footer and various page templates by just using the native WordPress Gutenberg editor. And that's why you see very minimum options here. So, so in order to create all these templates and our navigation, we have only one option now and that is under editor. So if we click here, we now have a completely new interface which you have never seen in any previous themes. So for a better understanding, let's open this list view from here. So here you can see that our header, which is named as header dark small. And under that we have groups and under that we have created this header. And after that, we have query loop block, which is responsible for showing our blog post here. And under that, we have the post title as a block. We have feature image, again, a native WordPress block. And after that, we have post excerpt and post date. And, and after that, we also have pagination. So all the blocks that you actually need to create a template or theme for your WordPress website is now available natively in WordPress. So if you don't want to use any third party page builder, you can now create your templates by just using the native WordPress widgets or I should say native WordPress Gutenberg blocks. So for example, if we come back here in our header, so here we have this row, which is containing our site logo and site title. So site logo is again a Gutenberg block. So we can upload our logo here and then, and here we can edit our site title. And on the right hand side, if you notice, we have a navigation block. So if we come back here in our old WordPress setup, where we have 2020 theme, in order to create our navigation or menu, we have a straight option here like menus. And here we can drop our pages or custom links. But now with this new 2022 theme, we can create our menu using the navigation block. So that's why the menu option under appearance was missing with this theme. So in order to create your menu, you can use this navigation block. And right now it's using our page list. So you can go ahead and edit that and create your own menu. So here you can delete this and start from scratch. 
So here we have an option to select a menu. Under that, we have options like create menu or manage menus if you have more than one. So let's say we want to create a new menu. So it's going to ask us if we want to select a menu or start empty. So we will start with empty and then we can start typing our links. So here we can either type in a text. So let's say we want to create a page link, but that page is not added in the back end as of now. So we can just type in about us. So here we can see that we have an option to create a draft page, which is about us, or we can choose any sample page or blog post from here. So let's go ahead and create a page with about us draft. So now we have a new menu item and in order to add a new menu, we just need to hit enter and then we get a new option to add the next item in our menu. So that's how we can create menus using 2022 theme. And we are going to cover all that in detail in the coming video. So once you are done with the menu here, if we click on this wrench icon, we can see on the right hand side. So depending upon what block you have selected, you will see the settings for the block. And if you want to see the settings for the complete template here, we we click on templates from here and then we have settings for header, footer, and then we can play around with the settings of all the blocks. So let's say we click on this uh, post title block and here under settings for the, for this block, we have options like make title a link. So if in case you don't want to show title as link, you can disable this option from here. After that, we have the typography. So you can select the font family, line height, letter spacing, all that can be done from here itself. So in this theme, we have a very limited option for font family. So you can choose only between the two. After that, you can change the font size. So you can play around with that as well. After that, we have dimensions. After that, we have dimensions where we can play around with margin. So you can play around with that from here. And in the same way, we can select any widget and then the setting for that widget will be available on the right hand side. Along with that, in the next option, we have styles. So this, so this deals with all the styling of our website theme. So here we can define the typography for text as and links. After that, we can define colors. So here we have color palette. So right now we have 17 colors here. So the current, so the current template or the current theme is using this color palette. And if we want to edit that, we have an option here. We will click on these three dots and then click on edit color. So for the foreground, we can change the color from here. So let's say we select this blue color. So now you can see that this color is changing. And in the same way, we can play around with this color theme and create our own colored palette. After that, we have option for layout. So here we only have option for adding padding for any layout. And once we are done, we just need to click on save. And here we can choose if we want to save the, the changes that we have made in the various elements. So if we click on save, all the changes will be updated. And if we click on the WordPress icon here, we get option to go back to our dashboard. And if we want to navigate under this theme editor, we have option here right now we are at the site which is the home page of our website and below that we have templates so here you will see all the list of templates that is that's being used for this 2022 theme so here we have a blank template we have single post page home archive and all the templates that are responsible for creating this 2022 themes after that we have template parts so so here are the template parts that we can edit separately. So if you want to edit header, you can do that from here or you want to create a new template part. You can choose this option here. So let's say we want to create a header which will be visible on certain pages. So we will call it custom M3 header and this will be type header. So this template will be a header type template. If you want to create a custom footer, you can choose the third option. So if we select header, 
this is going to create a custom header template. So right now we are under the editor of custom M3 header that we have just created. So here we can define the typography and color and layout and then we can drop all the Gutenberg blocks to create our own custom header. So this is how you can create your own template parts and then combine them to create custom pages and post layouts. So this is just a quick overview about the 2022 theme and how it is different from rest of the old themes that we used to see. So we are going to talk about full site editing and how you can create your complete website using this full site editing feature. So if that sounds interesting, then make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you won't miss whenever those videos are live. If you like this video, then make sure you hit the like button and to watch more videos like this, subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. And if you need any expert help regarding your website, you can connect with us using the link given in the video description below. So that's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.